What's up, Internet? So, marami tayong videos explaining computers, hopefully in beginner-friendly terms. But a lot of those videos, medyo theoretical. We talk about specs, we talk about compatibility. Pero gusto rin namin na maingganyo kayo na mag-build talaga for yourselves. So, para doon, gumagawa rin kami ng series on more practical aspects. What do the parts actually look like? Saan mo sinasalpak sa computer mo? Ano yung mga common mistakes when installing them? Ano yung mga common na... Dapat mong iwasan para hindi masira yung part na yon. We have a previous video for PSU and another one for the MOBO. Ngayon, time naman para sa RAM. And yung example natin of a good RAM is the Clev Crass XR na may RGB. So this is typically what a RAM box looks like. May ibang designs, paminsan clear yung plastic. So kita mo yung RAM mismo. Although the more high-end RAMs, especially the RGB RAMs, ironically, uh, come in boxes. Ironic kasi you'd yung mga RGB yung mas aesthetically inclined you'd think they'd be the ones na maganda makita yun oh to be honest it's yung first time ko to makita tong Clev hindi siya ganun kasikat sa atin uh, but the design looks good the heatsink is quite different maganda yung pagka brush aluminum feel niya it's trying not to drop these things quite hefty too actually although weight doesn't really matter for RAM yung tinatawag na heatsink palamuti lang to basically uh, back in the day Naked yung RAM, and that's still how I call RAM now. I don't know what the technical term is. So this is what I call naked RAM. Uh, wala namang problema dito. It's just the memory board basically, and you can see the RAM, actual RAM chips. This is basically what this looks like without the heatsink. The, the one with the heatsink looks a lot better. Plus, usually may RGP pa rin nakasama. Performance-wise though, really, there isn't much of a difference. Yes, they call these heat sinks, but there's not a lot of heat generated. I mean, you can overclock RAM, and that's also something you might want to take into consideration. But for the average user, this naked RAM is fine. It's just that, maraming cases ngayon kasi puro side panel na dito, makikita mo sa loob. Medyo nakaka turn off talaga kung, naka, kung hubad yung RAM mo. So we have three different kinds of RAM here. You'll notice the basic design is the same. Pins dito sa ilalim, dito mo isasaksak sa motherboard. We'll get to that in a little bit. There's a notch here, which also aligns on the notch on the motherboard. High-end na RAM, mas maganda yung mga heat sinks nila. Again, these are all just, you can see the memory board here. Naka-sandwich sa heat sink. So standard design now for RAM, memory board, you have the heat sink, and then on top of the heat sink, you have the RGB. So RAM kits come in different gigabyte sizes. Paminsan isang stick lang, karaniwan dalawang stick. So these are, this is 8 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes, total niya 16 gigabytes. Uh, madaling malito dito, we get a lot of beginner customers asking na, gusto ko 16 gigabytes of RAM, and we don't know if they mean one stick of RAM or two sticks of RAM. Most RAM kits are denoted like this, 8x2 or usually 2x8. Yung first number 2 being how many sticks you get, and yung second number or yung number na may GB, that's how many gigabytes per stick of RAM. Alright, so we're gonna demonstrate how to uninstall RAM first. Dito sa test bench natin, naka-install na tong two sticks of RAM. If you're facing the motherboard, yung RAM palagi na sa right side. And it's very clear naman kasi nandito yung apat na DIM slots. DIM is just another name for RAM. And basically, you just slot the RAM into place. Dito sa test bench natin, naka-install na tong dalawang RAM. So to uninstall them, first release the clasp. So may lock dito, push away from the board, yan, away from the RAM, mafe-feel mo naman. Dalawang sides to, sa taas tsaka sa baba. Need to unlock both clasps. And you'll notice nung in-unlock ko yung second one, medyo umangat yung RAM. So yun, just slip it out. Let's do the same. You can do this sequentially, like one at a time. Pwede rin naman sabay. But yun, just medyo may konting jump pa, that's fine, that's good. Before we install, does it matter where you put the RAM? Dalawa lang yung sticks of RAM natin, apat yung RAM slots. Malaki yung performance increase kung tama yung paglagay mo ng RAM. It activates dual channel memory, something we've talked about in other videos. Pero basically, yes, there is a proper configuration. Gagana naman siya if you don't use the proper configuration, but you don't get the big benefit of the dual channel memory. Para sure ka na makuha mo yung dual channel memory, unfortunately, you do need to check your motherboard manual. Alright, so how to install the RAM? Align the notch with the notch here. You can see the black notch here. Align the end. Align the two ends with the end here. And just slip it in. And don't be afraid to press down hard. Kamali ako. <laughs> 
and press down hard. Yun. You'll notice there's a satisfying click when you get the RAM into position, plus maglalock siya automatically. Pansinin mo itong slots 2, 3, and 4 naka-unlock, so yung lock pa niya is away from the motherboard. Ito, nung pinasok natin yung RAM, maglalock na siya in place automatically. Tapos na tayo sa physical installation, but for RAM, there is a setting you need to enable to get the fastest speed, and that's the XMP setting in your BIOS. Go to your BIOS by pressing delete or F2 on your keyboard immediately after turning on your computer. Sobrang bilis nito, so I just keep pressing until I get to BIOS. Find the XMP setting and set the proper profile. Free speed boost. Don't forget to save the setting when you exit the BIOS. Last thing about RAM, you can actually get more for free. Don't download RAM, scam yan. But you can use your storage as additional RAM. This is the page file. It's much slower though than regular RAM, so di talaga siya recommended for everyone and I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. But if you're feeling adventurous, you can change the page file size by going to Control Panel, System, Advanced System Settings, Advanced Tab, Performance, then Advanced Tab again, then Virtual Memory. RAM is one of the easiest parts to install, and whenever something goes wrong in my computer, usually the first thing I do is to reinstall the RAM. Turn everything off, remove it, and then put it back in again. You'd be surprised how many times okay na computer after that. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.